The Shinyanga region of northern Tanzania was once covered with dense acacia scrub and miombo woodland. When large blocks were felled to cultivate cash crops and help eradicate the tsetse fly, the forests that once provided feed for livestock in the dry season, firewood and other essential products, virtually disappeared. By the 1980s, the government declared the area a desert. In 1985, a soil conservation program was set up and the Hashi project was born. You see, this hash project was a learning process. It was not an easy project to establish. At the beginning, we started with the tree planting, and we thought that the tree planting was the, was the right approach to address the problem of land degradation, severe soil erosion. After some years, we, we evaluated our efforts and we came to learn that we have achieved, we had achieved very little. And one of the reasons is that we didn't involve the local community. So through that learning, we had to devise the approach. We involved the local community, we started the participatory approach. And through this participatory approach, that is where we came to learn that there are other practices traditional practices like in the Ngitiri practice, which is, has, had been, has been practiced by the local community for years. Ngitiri is a traditional land use management by the Sukuma people. And uh, this uh, whereby the local people will set aside a piece of land to allow it to regenerate, especially from during the onset of the rain season, this piece of land will be used during the, 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 the peak of the dry season when fodder supply is difficult. Unaweza Mana miti ina kazi nyingi. Unawezu kawa kuna mti mmoji unaluhusu kuenda kuchimba, mtu waka utumia kunyu, waka pona. Daiza imekua faida ngapi? Faida tatu. Faida ya ini, upande wa biashara. Sinaweza yika tokea mle mle kwenye miti kundi. Watu wanaenda waka, waka chuma, waka uza, waka chipatia fweza. Kwa hiyo, People of Shinyanga are accruing benefits which are equivalent to 14 US dollars per month, unlike the 8.5 US dollars per month for, from other rural areas of the country. So you can guess how much the the Ngitiri is benefiting the local community of Shinyang. Asante ndugu mtala mnafikiri mkijiji cha Busongo kimenufaika kwa mambo mengi katika kitiri ya Busongo. Cha kwanza, kimeweza kujenga majengo ya shule. Kimejenga kama majengo manne nyumba za madarasa mbili na nyumba, ya mwalimu, na nyumba za mwalimu mbili. Moja imeisha na ya pili iko kwenye saizi ya lenta. Faida ya pili ni kuni. Wakati mladi huwa hujaanza kulikuwa na tatizo la kuni. Lakini kwa sasa hivi wananchi wanafaidika na kuni. Na mambo mengine kama ya ujenzi kuchukua nguzo, miamba ya mikokoteni yao na mambo mengine. 20 years after the Hashi project began, the results are dramatic and clear. Around half a million hectares of woodland forest has been restored across 850 villages, benefiting almost two and a half million people. A well that used to be empty in the dry season is now full throughout the year. And instead of spending four hours a day collecting fuel wood, it now takes the villagers just 20 minutes. Today, the children of Shinyanga not only go to school, 
Some even go on to university.